Hello everyone, let's go back to the year 1995, where a man named MacArthur Wheeler robbed two banks in Pittsburgh in the middle of the day with no mask or anything to hide his identity. Now, one would think that this is completely dumb, as surely security cameras would capture his face and people would recognize him. However, Mr. Wheeler believed that rubbing lemon juice all over his face would render him invisible to security cameras since lemon juice was also used for invisible ink. Of course, it did not, and police were able to catch him later that same day. Wheeler was absolutely shocked that he was a arrested and that the lemon juice did not work. This event inspired David Dunning and Justin Kruger to run an experiment to see how something like this happens. They asked undergraduate students to take a series of tests, one on humor, one on grammar, and one on logic. They then asked them to estimate their scores and how well they think they did compared to other students. The researchers found that those who scored the lowest actually had some of the highest estimates of what their scores would be. They thought they were going to do way better than they actually did. Paradoxically, students who knew more about the subjects they were being tested on predicted they would do worse than they actually did. So what's going on here? Well, this is called the Dunning-Kruger effect, and it is when low-skilled individuals think they are a lot better at tasks than they really are. You might have heard about this effect mentioned in the media or on the internet as people like to use it to insult one another's intelligence and or arrogance. However, we are all victims of the Dunning-Kruger effect, and that's due to the inherent fact that we are all misinformed about our skill levels in some way, shape, or form. Here's an example. Let's imagine you know this much about basketball, and you think that there is this much to know about basketball. You'd probably think you know a lot about the sport, right? In fact, you might be led to believe that you'd score 90% on a task about basketball given what you know and what you think there is to know. Now, let's take a more knowledgeable person about basketball, a college basketball player. They know that there is this much to know about the sport, and that they only know this much. See the difference? They know that there is this big area that they don't know about, but it's because they're knowledgeable about the sport that they know that this area exists. They probably believe they'd score 50% on a test about basketball. So, if you compare these two people together in a test where this much knowledge is needed in basketball, this is where you see the Dunning-Kruger effect. Essentially, it's a difference between the people who know what they don't know, and the people who don't know what they don't know. And we all suffer from this. How many times have you looked at a task and thought, that looks easy, or were talking about something and thought, I know so much about this, only to be proven very wrong later? Prior to learning more about that task or concept, you were fairly confident because you didn't think that there was that much to know about it. Once you knew more and were properly informed, you then adjusted your confidence based on this new knowledge. But this is not to say that more education can always help you be more realistic about about how much you know about a subject. David Dunning has stressed in numerous articles that the point of the Dunning-Kruger effect is that someone is misinformed. If we take poor MacArthur Wheeler from the lemon juice robbery, we can see that he was misinformed about the properties of lemon juice. It can't actually make you invisible. But if he kept being taught more and more about the magical invisibility powers of lemon juice, it would not change the fact that he is learning false information and will still be misinformed. So next time you feel confident that you know something, maybe take a closer look. It could be that you are a victim of the Dunning-Kruger effect and you just don't know what you don't know. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.